AEW Frontline Universe Most Stream Season 2 Episode 7 We are coming to you live from Montreal in Canada as part of the Canadian tour leg for EWW Frontline have a fantastic card lined up for you as always <coughs> pardon me I'm just going to go into my Twitch quickly and welcome you guys before I run down the cards Now I will run down this evening's car for you. Hello, whoever's just joined the stream, I hope you're okay and keeping well. The first match of the evening will be an EWW rules match and will be a Scottish Supernova Noam Dar versus the Diamond Studs with DDP, his manager, in his corner. This is also a rivalry match. Looking forward to this one. Next we have a middle card promo from the Essex Pitbull, Ian Frost. He will be calling out his bitter nemesis, Dr. Death Steve Williams. This should be a heated exchange between these two. The second match of the evening will be an Extreme Rules Tag Team match and will be for the EWW World Tag Team Championships and will be the former champions Demolition, Axe and Smash versus the defending champions El Mago Jr. and Drew Gudak, The Infiltrators. Things are going to get brutal when you've got Axe and Smash involved. The third match of the evening will be your co-main event and will be a one-on-one -on -one encounter between the monster Damien with Mr. Fuji in his corner versus the EWW world champion Owen Hart. If Damien can beat Owen Hart in this non-title match he will earn himself a title opportunity. Next we have a show closer promo from the artist of Sin Taboo. He will be calling out his bitter rival, Raven. Wonder what he has to say to the man from the Bowery. And on to your main event of the evening, which will be a Fool's Count Anywhere match. And will be the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. Versus the late great Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. Looking forward to this one, should be a dream match. Without further ado guys, let's start the show. As always, feel free to come on the air and say hello. All interaction is always welcome. Please participate if you can. If you can't, that is also fine. Please give my Twitch a follow, which is twitch.tv, bullwarrior1987. Any streams that you miss will be added to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com, wrestleblogger1987. I hope everyone's okay wherever you are in the world during these tough times. My mission is to hit 50 followers. If you could kindly help me get the next stage of my affiliation down, Pat, I'd be greatly appreciated, guys. Ooh. 
What's up, EWW Frontline Universe? You desire Ball Warrior 1987 bringing you the action this evening in front of a jam packed crowd. And this leg of the Canadian Tour is hailing from EWW brings you the action from Montreal in Canada, the home of the infamous Montreal Screwjob back in 1997. Welcome to EWW Frontline, live from Montreal in Canada. Let's start the show, guys. The following contest is an EWW rules match and is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first on his way to the ring from Air Scotland, the Scottish Supernova Noam Dar. And introducing his opponents. On his way to the ring, accompanied by a diamond Dallas Page from Chuloto, Florida. He is the former EWW World Champion. The Diamond Studs. Let's go down to the ring, guys, for this EWW Rules match. Noam Dar versus the Diamond Stud. This is a rivalry match. Enjoy. <laughs> Referee wants a nice clean fight. Nice right, collar and elbow tie up from Noam Dar. Sending the Diamond Stud to the corner. Referee calls for a clean break. Nice hard shove from the Diamond Stud. Diamond Stud slapping the taste out of Noam Dar's gob. Nice backbreaker from the Diamond Studs. This was his gimmick before he became the bad guy Chico Razor Ramon. Nice fall away slam from the Diamond Studs. Nice kick to the face from the Diamond Studs. Nice abdominal stretch from the Diamond Studs, putting all the talking pressure on the shoulder of Noam Dar. Nice head scissors takedown from Noam Dar. Nice Japanese style arm drag from Noam Dar. Hard Irish whip to the buckle from the Diamond Studs. Raking Noam Dar's face across the top rope. That's the Diamond Studs. Hard right hand from the Diamond Stud. Goes for the pin. One. Only enough for a one. Leg sweep from Noam Dar. I dropped it to the legs from Dar. I was inside cradle from the Dime Stud. One, two. I need enough for a two. Nice. Full away 
Chase Lane from the Diamond Studs. Nice set lead DC from the Diamond Studs. It's high dive sweep to the buckle from Noam Dar. Making the forearm across the face does Dar. Nice abdominal stretch from the Diamond Studs. Nice Larioso from the Diamond Studs. Goes for the pin. One. Two. There's only enough for one. The Diamond Stud can hit the Diamond Death Drop. Hit his game over for Noam Dar. That's Backbreaker from the Diamond Stud. Is the Diamond Stud calling for the Diamond Death Drop? Noam Dar counters it though. Oh, snap DDT from the Diamond Stud. Shades of Jake the Snake. Rose, Dar outside the ring, goes to the cover, does the diamond stud, one, two, and in a foot two, god damn it. Diamond stud takes out the referee by accident. Rose, Dar back into the ring. Two the legs from Dar. Throws Dar outside the ring, does the diamond studs. Nice, Lerioto from the diamond studs. Throws Dar back into the ring. Goes through the pin. One, two, only a two. Throws Dar outside the ring, does the diamond studs. Dar throws the diamond star back into the ring. Oh, neck breaker from Noam Dar. Goes for the pin. One. Only a one. From the diamond stud. Nice. Face rake across the top rope from the diamond studs. Nice. A dominant stretch from the diamond studs. Full away slam from the Diamond Studs. Diamond Studs with the Diamond Death Drop. Will this be enough? One, 
two, three, and your winner, the Diamond Studs. This is a great opening contest. This was a very valiant effort from Noam Dar. Well done once again to your winner, the Diamond Studs. That was a very entertaining match once again. Well done, guys. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Next, we have a call out promo from the Essex Pitbull Ian Frost he is calling out his bitter rival Dr. Death Steve Williams I want to say a big thank you once again to my good friend Blue Boy 1985 for getting me into streaming throughout this shit time. Without you, Blue Boy, I don't know what I'd do. He is an amazing content creator and a great friend of mine. You can follow him on twitch.tv, Blue Boy 1985. Any streams that you missed will be added to his YouTube channel, which is youtube.com, Hammers Reviews. We have had our ups and downs in the past. We may piss each other off at times, but he's one guy I do consider a brother through thick and thin. There he is, guys, the Essex Pitbull, Ian Frost. The former EWW World Champion. You can champ whatever the hell you want, but it's not going to stop me from coming out here and speaking. I don't pander to crowds the same way I don't pander to trash-spewing superstars. Somebody's been talking about me. I'm going to make sure that ends now. Not sure what you cretins are looking for in your superstar, but I can promise you that you will never find anyone as talented as I am. And you know what? I won't just say that. I'm man enough to back it up right here and now in the ring. How many other superstars in the back can say that? Not many, obviously. But... If you all think that I'm a cold-hearted and brutal, a man who thinks only of himself, and yes, I am those things, but I'm also a generous man, a man who believes in giving what the occasion calls for it, and tonight I'm going to give Steve Williams the chance of a lifetime, the chance to prove himself by taking down the best of the best. What do you say? And there's Dr. Death, Steve Williams.
I'm sorry to interrupt, but I learned a long time ago that the only way to get attention around here is to just take it. It's nothing personal, but I've got something on my mind that I need to deal with right now. Hey, you've obviously got something to say, and this is the place to say it. But you should think long and hard about this, because the whole world is listening, and if you say something stupid, it's going to haunt you forever. So the next 90 seconds are crucial for you. What have you got? Yeah, what has he got, people? Has he got balls? I'm going to have to cut you off right there. See, my phone was blowing up backstage, and I tried to ignore it, but it's just kept going off due to the staggering amount of messages I've been getting over the last few minutes from members of the EWW universe just begging for me to come out here and stop you from dragging this show down to the ground. I have made a career out of snapping limbs, destroying dreams and ending careers. That's what I've built everything on and what I'm prepared to do tonight right here in this ring. The question is, are you prepared to do the same thing? Because that's what you're going to have to do if you want to make it the, to the big time. You want to do this? Fine with me. I'm ready to go anytime. Things are getting heated, people. Believe me, you really don't want to walk down this road. I can already see the end of this journey, it's, and it's me standing tall. You really want to waste your time embarrassing yourself like that. Be kind to yourself, and just stop now. I should give your mother a call about this. She doesn't like it when you act up. You know that annoying voice she does? Honey, what are you doing? Honey, stop that this instant. Yeah, I bet she's doing that right now as she sees you out here. And the two are fighting. A snap mare from Steve Williams. A club to the neck from Williams. A nice bulldog headlock from Ian Frost. A overhead belly to belly suplex from Frosty the Throwman. And nice decapitation Mariotto from the Essex Pitbull. Referee having trouble trying to restrain him. On to our next match, guys. The following contest is an Extreme Rules Tag Team match. And he's for the EWW World Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, on their way to the ring, from parts unknown, the former EWW World Tag Team Champions, Axe and Smash Demolition. And introducing the champions, on their way to the ring from Mexico and from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The reigning and defending EWW World Tag Team Champions El Mago Jr. 
Andrew Gulak. The Infiltrators. Let's go down to the ring, guys, for this Extreme Rules Tag Team match for the EWW World Tag Team Championships. Demolition versus the champions, the Infiltrators. Enjoy, guys. Referee wants a nice clean guy. A side Russian leg sweep from Drew Gulak to smash. Nice knee from Gulak to smash. Nice arm drag from smash to Gulak. Nice hurricane run from El Mago Junior to at. From Smash to El Mago Jr. X goes for the pin. It's only in the floor one. Nice hard shove from X to Gulak. X gets the baseball bat. Side Russian leg sweep from El Mago Jr. to Axe. And a side Russian leg sweep from Smash to Gulak. And a speedy T from El Mago Jr. to Smash. El Mago Jr. gets the table. Do you think he is a member of the Dudleys or something? Dudleys phoned and said they want their table back, El Mago Jr. That goes for the pin. One. Only a one. Before the New Day broke their record, Demolition was the longest reigning WWE Tag Team Champions of all time. But that came to a screeching halt when the New Day broke Demolition's legendary record. That was a good few years ago now yeah, that happened. Helmago Jr. gets the chair. Nice neck breaker from Smash 2 Helmago Jr. on the outside. Hax goes for the pin. One. Two. Only a two. to the ring. With pump handle slam from Smash to El Mago Jr. It's 
sends El Mega Jr. into the ring steps, does that. Suplex from Axe to El Mago Jr. One, two, only two. Nice body splash from Smash to Gulak. A pile driver from Axe to Gulak. One, two, three. And your winners and new EWW World Tag Team Champions. Axe and Smash Demolition. Well done to Demolition, becoming the two-time EWW World Tag Team Champions. Well done once again to your new EWW World Tag Team Champions, Axe and Smash Demolition. Great effort from the former champions, the Infiltrators. Strong in defeat. Let's see what's next. The following contest is your main, is your co-main events of the evening. And is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first on his way to the ring from parts unknown, accompanied by Mr. Fuji. B, his victim. This is Damien. And introducing his opponent on his way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, member of the Heart Wrestling Dynasty and your EWW World Champion, the late great Owen Hart. Let's go down to the ring, guys, for your co-main event of the evening. Damien versus Owen Hart. If Damien can beat Owen in this non-title match, he will earn himself a title opportunity in episodes to come. Enjoy, guys.
the referee was a nice clean fight. Cyborg slam from Damien. Chin breaker for Moe. Pile driver from Owen Hart. Nice headbutt from the King of Hearts. Nice club to the back from Owen. Nice headbutt from Owen Hart. Goes to the cover. One. Only a one. A snap there from Damien. Follows it up with some nice sharp elbow strikes to the trapezius of Owen. Damien goes to the pin. Wasn't even a one. German suplex for mowing. Damien was way too close to the ropes. Nice sleeper hold for Mowing Hart. Shades of his cousin, the late great Rowdy Roddy Piper. Nice hip toss from Damien. Nice sharp elbow strikes to the point of the head from Damien. Damien drops a forearm. Nice leg drop from Damien. Knife-edge chop from Damien. Don't take a chop from Damien, they hurt like hell. Punches from Moen. Out of the heart, Owen was the all-rounder, the one that could pretty much do everything. Nice drop kick from the King of Hearts. Owen with the sit-out tombstone, the very same move that broke Stone Cold's neck. One, two. Only a two. Owen locks in the half handy sharpshooter. And Damien submits. Here is your winner, the EWW World Champion, Owen Hart. Great victory for Owen Hart. Owen is extending his hand out to Damien, and Damien returns it. Great show of sportsmanship from these two amazing performers. Let's see what's next, guys. Next we have a call out promo from the artist of Sin Tabu. He is calling out his bitter rival Raven. Let's hear what they have to say to each other.
There he is, guys, the artist of sin, Sabu. Let's hear what he has to say to his arch nemesis, Raven. Tabu is a star of stage and screen. Take it away, Tabu. The mic is yours. Shut up and listen for a minute. I'm not going to yell over you loudmouthed idiots. So keep your trap shut while I handle some business. I said shut up. This guy has the nerve to think that he can not only compete with me, but defeat me. That just pisses me off. And when I'm pissed off, bad things happen to good people. And that's exactly what's going to happen to this superstar. I hate having to sunny my hands, but I can't allow anyone to walk around backstage thinking they're better than me. Lions like that have a way of spreading, so I have to squash them now while I can. Raven, bring your inferior talent down to this ring so I can teach you a thing or two. guys Raven let's hear what Raven has to say for himself shall we I thought the EWW universe was supposed to have higher standards than this. What's going on right now is a disgrace to sports entertainment and you're a disgrace to this ring. So I'm here to fix this situation. Oh no, don't even start with me. I can hear it in the quaver of your voice. Don't you dare try to weasel your way out of this situation. If you're truly a champion, you've got to defend that title. Ducking out here, hoping I blow over. That ain't happening. I've been crystal clear that I'm coming straight for you. From time to time, I find myself asking who is a superstar on the roster who has what it takes to face me. I asked the wrestling gods up there in that great ring in the sky to send me a worthy challenger. Someone who could actually give me a run for my money in this ring and they send me you? You couldn't wrestle your way out of a grocery bag on a rainy day. If you don't seal that pipe hole and stop spreading lies, I'm going to be forced to seal it for you. You have about three seconds to deciding how you want to leave this ring. You can walk out or you can be carried out. It makes no difference to me. Normally I don't give less of superstars a chance, but I'm in a good mood tonight, so let's have a match. I'll grant you the honour of wrestling with the greatest superstar alive today. You should be honoured 
just to hear me say those words. It doesn't matter when and it doesn't matter where, but I'm always ready for a fight. Doesn't mean I'll fight anyone though. Nah, no, ah, doesn't work like that, friends. I need a good reason to fight someone, and you've got nothing for me. There's no reason for everyone to quieten down. Then again, I'm the most interesting and exciting superstar here in the EWW. I can understand your reason for pause. It's quite humbling to be in my presence. Unlike the man standing before you in the ring, quite frankly, I don't even know why you'll still work here unless they're finally giving you the chance, I suppose. How does it feel right now? Do you feel frustrated, powerless, totally imp impotent and helpless? Good. That's what I was going for. Hey, it's nothing personal, but you need to learn a lesson about knowing your place in the world. You're getting too big for your britches. It was time for me to take you down a peg. Hopefully you remember where you belong. It does go too quick, though. I don't care what you think. I don't care what the EWW universe thinks. It's all just noise fueling me. You know what? Let's make this happen. Let's do this now. No more waiting. Get the ref. Just kidding. I told you I don't care what anyone else thinks. None of you are worthy of my time. Tabu wins the promo battle. Let's go your main event of the evening. The following contest is your main event of the evening and is a Fools Count Anywhere match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first on his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. And introducing his opponents on his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Member of the Guerrero Wrestling Dynasty. The late great Eddie Guerrero. Let's go down to the ring, guys, for your main event of the evening, a Force Count Anywhere match. Samoa Joe versus Eddie. Enjoy. <laughs> Referee wants a nice clean fight. A nice snatch suplex from Samoa Joe to Eddie. Nice inverted suplex from Joe. Nice power bomb from Samoa Joe. Shades of Psycho Sid. Wasn't even a one count. Nice European uppercut from Joe. Nice. Variation of the face crusher from Samoa Joe. Nice. Springboard missile drop kick from Eddie. 
A small club to the net from Eddie. Release Northern Light Suplex from Eddie Guerrero. Eddie goes for the pin. Wasn't even a one. Nice drop kick from Samoa Joe. Goes for the pin. One. Only a one. From Joe. My nice striking offense from Joe. Missile drop kick from Eddie. A very nice variation of a back break, backbreaker submission from Eddie. Nice on drag from Joe. Goes Joe to the outside, does Eddie? Goes to the pin. One, two. There's only a two. Throws Joe into the ring steps. Does Eddie? Nice chop from Eddie, but they're not Kendrick Kabashi chops. Samoa Joe with the Camara Plex. One, two, and a two. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch. He drops down. Eddie reverses. Buster from Eddie to the outside. One, two. It's only a two. Sends Eddie into the ring post. Stars Joe. Back into the ring, does Eddie. Eddie messed up the frog splash right there. What the fuck's going on? Eddie goes to the pin, one. Two, three, and your winner, Eddie Guerrero.
don't know what the fuck happened there. A victory is a victory at the end of the day. That was a very competitive match, by the way. Well done. Once again, to your winner, Latino Heat, the late great Eddie Guerrero. Viva la raza. Chris Benoit was never the same when he lost Eddie. Not that I condone his actions, but losing a good friend like that would make anyone lose their minds. RIP both Chris and Eddie. Hopefully both of them are together in the big rumble in the sky. Great effort from Joe. He looks strong into feet. Yeah guys, that was my EWW Universe Mode Stream. Season 2, Episode 7. Live from Montreal, Canada as part of the Canadian tour that EWW is on. Hope you enjoyed it guys, okay? Before I come off the air, I'd like to remind you of three things. Number one, when you're out and about, please keep wearing your masks. Two, keep distancing from people as much as you can. And three, whenever you get home, please keep washing your hands. Come on, keep this is the government's advice and keep following the rules. And more chances we'll have of going back to a new normal life some point down the line. So, don't be selfish, guys. And now you can do this and we'll keep this is the government's advice and keep following the rules. And more chances we'll have of our liberties and rights coming back one day. So, until my next stream, guys, take care and stay safe. So long now, people.